What are you doing, Patty? Looking for Yuri. Have you seen him? I think he's somewhere in town. Probably sleeping. Hmm. Yuri's just about the only one who can successfully hide from me. In any case, what are you doing, Flynn? Patrolling. This town has no barrier, so I have to work extra hard to keep it safe. What is it? Why are you the one patrolling? You're a commandant. Or is this part of a knight's duty? It has nothing to do with a knight's duty or rank. A knight is... well, it's difficult to explain. Is it? Personally, I believe they exist solely to protect the people. But not all knights agree. Then things haven't actually gotten any better? No. They've improved quite a bit. Though there are those who don't believe so. Lies and rumors are insidious things. Ah, oh, Flynn. You have far too many woes for one so young. True. I have no want for trouble. But I am prepared to face it. Is that right? Ever since I learned the law is imperfect, I've looked for a definitive boundary between good and evil. Recent events have shown me that no such boundary exists. In the end, all I can do is face each trouble as it arises. Perhaps this path is full of pain, but I won't run. That's what I am prepared for. Hmm. 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 Patty? Admirable, but codswallop. Long ago, I led the pirates as I freed, but I was only their boss because they had all given me their support. And had Yuri and the others not been there when my memories returned, I'm not sure what would have happened. Without them, I wouldn't be the chipper lass I am today. Patty. You don't have to bear your troubles alone. You have Yuri and me. We all have troubles, so we should work together to figure them out. Together? Yes, you're right. Thank you, Patty. You know, sometimes I can't help feeling that you are terribly mature. <laughs> it's all right. You aren't the first to fall for my intoxicating charms. If we all work through our troubles together, then someday we'll be able to make the world we dream of a reality. Everything we do starting with taking down the Autophagos, will be worth it. Resolving to act on a decision influences those around you, and then that decision becomes reality. That's how whole worlds are created. <sighs> Sink me. I'm losing out on my beauty sleep. Off to bed I go. What about Yuri? I'm young. I'm sure there'll be plenty more chances. Good night. Good night. Don't bear your troubles alone. Can't sleep? What about you? Oh, I was just out talking with Baul and it got late. I was just checking on how the repairs were coming along. <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. Oh, I hate it when you say that. That's strange. I don't mean anything by it. Hey, what are you going to do after this is over? If all goes right, all the Blastia will stop working, including Hermes Blastia. Right. You won't have anything to do. I guess not. That's all I had. Baul was my only friend. Destroying Hermes Blastia was my only purpose. I mean, I had my reasons, but... But? 
After traveling around with you all, I guess I don't really care anymore. You're just gonna drop it like that? What are you going to do? You lived for your Blastia research. Th there's tons of stuff I could study. Besides, I realize there are things I can believe in besides Blastia. I don't have any family, so I don't... But uh, I kind of like, you know, how we are. Hey, that's just between us. You can't tell anybody. I won't, I promise. <laughs> it's fun to have secrets with someone. You've changed. You never would have said anything like that when we first met. <sighs> All the different people, different things on this journey, you know? Yeah, I do. I never dreamed I'd end up like this. I don't want to go back. Me neither. When everything's done, maybe I'll just travel the world with Ba'ul. That's nice. Hey, take Estelle too. There's still a lot in this world she should see. You're not coming? It'll be so lonely without you. Uh, well, I guess I could. Well, if we're going to do that, first we have to protect the world. Of course. We'll show that thing. Yes, we certainly will. <clears throat> That's the last one. Good work. Sorry for making your work right before the final battle. Don't worry about it. I'm a member of a guild. I have to do something. It's nice to be able to do things for others. Oh, such grown-up words from Master Carol. Yeah, I never did stuff just for other people. I wanted to show others that I could do stuff. I thought that was my dream, but I guess not. To make a guild, to make the guild big, to be a respected boss. All boys have those dreams. It's fine. But that was all just so I would look cool. I mean, there's so much you can't do alone. Yeah, I guess so. I thought I had to do it alone, or I'd look bad, or it'd be worthless, or whatever. That's not helping people. I see. If you work together, you can do a lot more and make a lot more people happy. I realized that traveling with everyone. I like that a lot more. Young Master Carol. You are something. So far ahead of this old man. You are cool enough, just as you are. You're cool too, Raven. Not as cool as Yuri, but... Oh, I'm hurt. <laughs> so what's your dream, Raven? Me? To be stinking rich with bevies of gorgeous women all around. Mm. I'm kidding. Now... Hmm. I'm finally back to just living. So I guess my dream is to be able to dream again someday. That sounds pretty hard, but I'm sure you can do it. Thank you. I think I'll get it. Hey, is your heart okay? Yeah, it's weird, but it's fine. Even if I work it hard, it just keeps going. I guess that's the effect of the spirits. I guess this plan isn't all bad. I'm glad I met everyone. I mean, you too, of course. I'm glad I met you too. Really. We're gonna win tomorrow. In a big way. All right, we should get to bed soon. Lack of sleep is the elderly's worst enemy. Okay, night. Yeah, good night. Dreams are so not my style. But here I am, dreaming. <laughs> What am I going to do with myself?
It's almost time. Yeah, I start to think about it and I can't sleep. You get that way too? You say it like I'm made of iron or something. Would you mind if I sat next to you? Thank you. <laughs> it's warm. Tomorrow we face that Autophagos. It's ironic that we're actually using Alexei's research to fight it. If they had only been able to think of others. Yeah, but they made their choices. Nothing we can do about that. Choices? You've always made your own choices, haven't you? I figured if someone's gonna choose, it might as well be me. And I won't find out if I made the right choices until the end. But that's wonderful. Making a choice is so hard. You made your own choice too. I think I figured it out while traveling with you all. To live means to choose, and to have the resolve to make those choices. I think that's kind of overdoing it. I always just played the role I was given. I was happy to heal people and be thanked. But then I learned my power was poisoning the world. Someone was always using me. What about now? I... I don't know. But... I feel like I'm here doing what I am because it's my choice. My wish. I'm glad I came on this journey with you, Yuri. Me too. I wasn't too sure what would happen when you asked me to take you out of the castle. I'm sure. I like traveling. Lots of different people, different experiences. We traveled the whole world, but I never got tired of it. I think it fits me. I think I'll just keep on going around. And keep helping people in need. <laughs> yeah, maybe there's some tomboy princess out there being chased by an evil monster. You're mean. <laughs> It's strange. Right now, I'm not scared at all. If anything, the thought that a new world is about to dawn is... The Autophagos won't kill us. We'll live on. And I'll be able to stay with everyone. With you. Thanks. I feel the same way. Let's get it over with, and live on in a future we choose. Okay. Well, looks like you slept well. Yes, I did. Like a log! The bed was so much more comfortable than when we were here before. Yeah, the whole town is in really good shape. A city this nice needs a name. All right, naming genius. Give it a shot. Okay, okay. Scrappy handcrafted look. <laughs> you suck! Um, the light that melts away the snow. Arnian, how's that? Arnian? That's a nice name. Now it's got the Imperial Seal of Approval. That settles it. Fantastic! I'm all done too. With Vesperia number one? This is Yoder's sword, isn't it? What? Is it really okay for us to use that? It's just the right shape and size. Plus, it's forged from rare metal. If I recall, rare metal is quite scarce. 
and known to be exceedingly durable. Listening to your discussion made me remember this sword. I'm utterly incompetent with swords, so I'd be delighted if it was of use to you. Somehow it already feels... different. It is a decent blade. So then this one would be Vesperian number two! It doesn't matter what it's called. It's almost time. Yeah. This time it really is the final battle. Leave the construction of the Blastia network to us. Wait, Commandant. You should go with them. Sodia? No one knows what might happen. They will need your help. But the Knights have been tasked with persuading the people to help with the Blastia. I am well aware that we will not succeed without the people's cooperation. Don't worry. I'm here too, after all. Very well. But Sodia, Witcher, even though we'll be working separately, we are still a team. Remember that, if nothing else. Yes. Okay! We have discussed the Blastia and spirits, and what to do after everything is done. But I think it will take time for some to accept this change. You're right. Many people will be so lost. However, they cannot live in a new world without accepting the changes. You're right. I will start by talking with the people here. They built this wonderful city of Arnian from nothing but a plane. Yes, the residents here should accept it. Good luck. No one would listen to me even if I tried. No way! Estelis, everyone, take care. Please, stop working for a moment. His Majesty Yoder has something to say. I have something very important to tell you all. This will affect the Empire, the Guilds, and even the Entelikea. I wonder if they'll be okay. They believed in us enough to send us. Let's believe in them. Yes! Well, we have our own work to do. Carol, do your thing. Right! Everybody! We will win no matter what! Onward, Brave Vesperia! in the ground near Ospio. I can't believe it. That must be a life-absorbing formula expanding around it. It looks that way. This isn't good. It looks like it came together pretty quickly. So there's not much time left. Perfect! People always heave ho with a deadline looming over them. That might be true, but it still puts us in hot water. If it's absorbing life from everyone, that should affect us as well, but... Estelle? The spirits. They've swathed us in their power. So we should be fine as long as the spirits' power is greater than that formula. Then we just need to run right to the top before that changes. That'll exhaust us before we even face the Autophagos. Can't we just get on Ba'ul and fly up to the top? I doubt it would affect Ba'ul, but we probably couldn't take it. You just don't want to climb up. Of course not! Who do you think I am? Sorry, old man, but it looks like we're walking. 
Yay. We must brace ourselves and press forward. Yeah, don't let your guard down. Who knows what's waiting for us up ahead? could all of this be kept underground for so long? The reason so many Blastia were excavated from around Ospio must have been because this was here. The ancient Garayo civilization. This is more amazing than anything in a book. Something feels strange. I know this is a weapon, because he's going to use it against the Autophagos. But from the outside, it looked like a city. Did they turn an entire city into a weapon? Maybe they had to sacrifice such a huge city so they could stand a chance against the Autophagos. This place is enormous. So many people must have lived here. And now, one man is holed up in here to destroy every last person. Duke. I'd rather not meet him if we don't have to. That soldier was already a hero in the Great War. Who knows how much stronger he's gotten since. What are you talking about? We'll just kill the Autophagos before we fight Duke. Then Duke won't have a reason to sacrifice humanity! I hope so. Waiting, Yuri Lowell. And where do you think you're going with me right here? You! You're alive. Don't you ever die. You climbed all the way up here just for us? How sweet. You must be exhausted. You just never quit. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't want anything to do with you. You're trying to save the world? Well, the world will go bye-bye if you don't hurry, is that it? If you know that much, then don't get in our way! Oh, no, 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 no! That's what gives it so much meaning! What's this guy talking about? Look! There's a seal further on. If you want to get by, you have to take this arm from my body. You can't be serious. You bastard! <laughs> Yuri! If you want to save the world, then you have to go through me! Why? Why are you doing something so meaningless? 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 Oh, but it does mean something. This way, you'll fight with everything you've got! Zoggy, I never thought you were this crazy. Fine. Let's finish this. <laughs> Show me your anger! Your rage! Give me everything you've got! Because if you don't, you won't get any higher! <laughs> die, 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 die! Just drop it already! <laughs> I will hunt you down until you're dead. You're dying first. <laughs> yeah, keep talking while you still can. And you shut up! Yeah! Come on! Give me everything you've got! We finish this now! And stay dead this time! Zagi, what a lamentable man! It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> I can't move. What a weak body. I should change my next body to a Blastia, too. That would be more fun. Right, Yuri?
Yuri! Do it in hell. No one understood him, so he put so much meaning on fighting. Poor thing. Still, his skills made him pretty famous. Something happened after he met you all. He really looked like he enjoyed fighting. Maybe he thought that he could let loose with everything when he fought Yuri. So Yuri was the only person he could do that with? What do I care about somebody that crazy? It's just the shell of someone consumed by power. <sighs> We've wasted too much time on this. Let's go. Judy? Okay. Okay, got it. Did something happen to Baul? No, he's fine. I was just asking what it was like outside. How far along is the life-absorbing formula? Baul doesn't know anything about formulas. Yeah, I guess you're right. I told Baul to move around as he saw fit. We should move along too, right? Yeah, let's hurry! Those stairs. It looks like they lead to the summit. This is the moment of truth. Is everybody ready? I've been ready. Let's do it. Yeah, we have to do this. Turning back now would make dinner tonight taste like ash. Right. Even this old man's gonna put up a fight. People believe in us. They're waiting for us. We must defeat the Autophagos. For them! And for Pharaoh and Bellius. For the memories of the Intelikea. <laughs> Let's go. Duke! Duke, we have the four elemental spirits. Their power can counter the Autophagos. There's no need to use people to destroy the Autophagos. Look at its size. Four spirits are nothing against it. They're crucial. We'll make up the rest by turning the Blastia cores to spirits too. Every single core in the world! And as a bonus, it'll put an end to the Blastia culture that you hate so much. Not too shabby, huh? I doubt humans will hand over their Blastia quietly. Or will you force them? We don't force anyone to do anything! Can you not believe that people can move forward and change? Humans will not let something go once it is in their grasp. So you won't listen? We will destroy the Autophagos our own way. Please, wait just a little longer. The people are determined as we are determined. We won't let that go to waste. And will the world return to its former state? Huh? Will the air be controlled by the Entelikea? 
Will all life return to a time when nature ruled? No. You are changing this world, our Terka Lumeres. For what? For the convenience of humans. Nothing more. Can't you think that the world might be growing? I think of the Entelakea becoming spirits as evolution. Can't you see that? I would not presume to speak on the choices of the Entelakea. However, I also have my choices. So you won't listen to us because we're humans? You say you can't trust people, so you just drop everything. Then when it's too late, you try to wipe them out? Do you know what this tower is? Tarkaron was once a city, but the ancients turned it into a weapon. To destroy the Antilochea. <sighs> to the ancients who did not recognize the threat of the Blastia. The Antilochea who attacked the Blastia were nothing more than a nuisance. And the air went out of balance, and the Autophagos appeared. Only then did humans listen to the words of the Entelechea. Our world has seen many sacrifices, yet humans committed the same offense, and they will again. Those who eat away and ruin this world. Those who would change the world for their own continued existence. They are apostles of destruction greater than even the Atafagos. Is that the reason you're trying to destroy humanity? I made a vow to my friend that I would protect this world. Lucifer. So Chroma told you? Yeah, she also told us to stop you. She listened to us too and became a spirit. So please, we can do this together. Enough. If the Entelechea would throw away their mission, then I will take it up. I need not wait for your method. Once I complete this formula, the world will be saved. Duke, stop! As long as humans rule, they will commit the same offense time and again. If that happens, their hearts will grow wild and the future will be even more painful. Even if that happens, it's the path we choose. Even if we are hurt or stopped, we can still walk again as long as we don't give up. She's right. You'll never find anything new if you're afraid of making mistakes, of failing. And unlike you, we haven't chosen this path on our own. Everyone decided on it. Yeah, going it alone might be tough, but we're not alone. If one person can't do it, then we do it together. I finally learned that we can walk together like that. I. Eventually, you'll hit a dead end with the solutions you come up with alone. But if everyone takes up oars together, no wind nor rain can stop you crossing the ocean. That may be sufficient for those who are connected to one another. However, there will always be some who cannot accept a difficult future. You all surely understand that. It will be difficult, but that is reality. They will take what changes. Think and change again, both the people and the world. So even if it takes tens, hundreds of years, they will listen someday. I know this now. That's what it means to live. Change is painful, but fearing it means we never make any progress. And we'll be there to support those who need it. That's why knights exist, why guilds exist. Right. There are things you have to protect. But this old man wants to see what lies ahead for people in the next era. See how the fools change for those who can't see them anymore. We are in contradiction. However, our feelings for the world are no different. How odd. No, it's not. The future we chose, what we see for the future, is different. The future must be protected. If it is not, then destruction awaits. We make the future. You trust the path you choose and create it.
It is inevitable. Come. We're gonna kill the Autofagos, so stay out of the way. This isn't a path we chose alone. I have no reason to go along with your plan. Could you be any more stubborn? Why won't you listen? We made this choice so humans and Endelikea could move on together. I have newfound hope and conviction. The Endelikea will regret that decision, and humans will wish they had died. I won't regret it, no matter what you say. Our resolve runs deeper than that. Such a foolish conclusion. There is no longer any point in talking. I guess we have to fight. If you would just listen. No more. Charge me. All right. saw in you. You're pretty strong yourself. Hmm. How unfortunate. I wish I could walk together with you all a while longer. Perhaps we would have had a different encounter. It's not too late. It is. My path was set when the Adafagos covered the sky. You stubborn bastard! The best path for an enduring world is to return it to its natural state. That is the path I chose. I will die for that. My friend, give me your strength. Accept your fate, Duke. I shall end it all with this. We'll defend the world our own way. I'm sorry. Elucifer. I could not keep my promise. I don't know what a Lucifer was like, so this doesn't mean much coming from me. But if El Lucifer fought for humans during the Great War, then I don't think he'd want his friend to reject humanity. El Lucifer's wish to protect the world, peace for all living things. I'm on it! Here we go. Estelle, synchronize. Judith, give me support. Okay. Understood. Yuri, let's go! My heart's all a flutter. <sighs> We're counting on you, boss. <laughs>
So then they truly intend to give up last year. It's... it's over? Oh, no way! Our plan isn't working! No, it's okay. Just a little more. It just needs a little more power. But how? There isn't any more. Come on, we gotta do something! It's gotta work. This can't be how it ends. And to look here, spirits, humans, the Lucifer. Can this world truly change? Damn it, come on! Telekea who became Atafagos, they all transformed into these spirits. So the Atafagos was also part of this world. Unbelievable. It's so beautiful. Ah, it is. We did it. Was this truly the right thing for us to do? I don't know. We lost all the Blastia and with that, the barriers are gone. But we chose that path, so I guess we gotta live with it. As long as we're still alive, we'll be okay. You are strong. <laughs> yeah, well, that's because I'm not alone. Hey, Duke! See you around. Yuri! 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 Yuri!